Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. When I prayed and prepared, I asked that each of you receives at least one message. So hopefully you'll receive one. Hopefully you'll receive more than one message. Okay, let me make sure you can see those oh, pretty close. So what we have is the situation, the foundation, the challenge or what is blocking you, what is unknown to you, and then at the top we have what the angels are recommending you do. They need to have four cards for that. There's a lot of it about action for you because you do have, so for your situation, you have the Eight of Autumn. That is a, a coin card. That's an earth card that's about, you know, our money, stability. You have the Ace of Spring. The spring cards in this deck, those are wands. They're fire. It's action, doing things. You have, for your challenge, what's blocking you, you do have a major arcana, and that's 11, that is strength. For what is unknown, you have the three of spring, that's another wands card. And then for the recommendation, you have the seven of summer, and that is cups, that has to do with emotions. And then the other three cards that you have, you have love, creativity, and the god box. But there, there are two wands, so this is action. There's going to be some action. So most of you, you're waiting on a decision. You're waiting on some information to come in because what you have is your situation. You have the eight of autumn. And if you can read the bottom of that, it says do more research before proceeding, education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. And this is about, you know, learning everything that we can, you know, really gobbling up all that, that information like a sponge. And it can also speak of, you know, being appreciated, being appreciated by someone, being appreciated by our work, our place of employment. But it's also about, you know, we, you've put in, you've put in a lot of work, you put in a lot of effort. If you see her, this this young fairy, she's she's sitting next to her grandmother, and her grandmother is is imparting her wisdom, and she has this notebook, and she's just she's just absorbing it, she's she's taking it all in. So a lot of you have you've done a lot, you've done a lot of work, you've taken it all in. Many of you have like tried to follow in tradition. You see how she's, she's staring at that blanket? That's actually Ohio State University colors, tradition. So many of you, you have done things out of tradition, habit, the way you've always done things. But that's about to, that's about to change. This card's about, you know, also, you know, you put in a lot of work, you put in a lot of effort, you've done a lot of things. Now is the time for things to come back to you, to be rewarded to you, because it's like the law of attraction returning your energy, your efforts, your work that you've put forth, returning it to you in prosperity and abundance and positivity. It cards also about doing some research, really looking into things, because there are some things that you don't know about this decision. You see here? There's like this this screen. So there are things that are that are hidden. And you have these grapevines. Now grapevines typically gossip, things being said that you're not aware of, but there's going to be some information coming in about a decision. Many of you have been waiting for a decision to be made. Most of you are going to be pleased with the decision. Some of you are not going to be pleased. See how this this young fairy, she's she's looking kind of upset. So for some of you, maybe, you know, tradition She's staring at this tradition. So, so for some of you, maybe you're going through a divorce or, or maybe you've been waiting on your significant other to, to let you know that, you know, let's not permanently split up. Let's not do that. Let's, let's work things out. Let's try again. And, and for some of you, you're, you're waiting for that, your significant other to let you know, do you want to do it? Do you want to give it another go or not? And for so some of you are gonna be getting the decision that they do not want to continue that. They don't want to continue that tradition. They do want to divorce or they, some of you aren't married. It's, it's a splitting up of your assets, your investments. So some of you, maybe you have a business together. But whether the decision is something that initially is going to make you happy, because for a large number of you, the decision is going to make you happy. And many of you, this is tied to a legal decision. So it could be about work. It could be about business. And it could also be about, you know, contractual agreements, which could be marriages. It could be, you know, financial investments that you have some with someone else. But it's it's things that it's like like a legal disposition being made, being received. But most of you are going to be pleased with that. And those of you that are not initially pleased with it, ultimately, you see this little bell? 
by grandma. For everyone, this decision is going to result in you having somebody ring your bell. It's going to result in your happiness. So for everyone, you're going to be receiving news. A decision has been made. Ultimately, it is going to bring you happiness. Whether it seems like it initially or not, it is going to ultimately lead to your happiness. Because what you have as the foundation is the Ace of Spring. And at the bottom it says, it's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. And this card is talking about, you know, the time to act is now, to do something now. You have this, this new opportunity that has presented itself. This opportunity will bring you everything that you desire, everything that you've been wanting, everything that you have been hoping for. All these, these dreams and these, these hopes, these desires will be fulfilled. They are about to take flight. They are about to begin, but it hinges off of you having the courage to see things through. It hinges on you being fearless, not backing down, being courageous, fearless, daring to pursue these, these dreams, these desires of yours. And even if you don't have all the details, even if you don't know exactly how this is gonna, because aces are like new beginnings, fresh start. And it's a spring, this is wands, it's action. You may not have all the details, but you don't have to have all the details because a lot of you, you are being divinely guided. This decision, it's like a destined, faded thing that is going to bring a new opportunity for you, a new beginning, a fresh start. It's also a total transformation of your life. Because if you look here, you have butterflies in this card. You have butterflies here, you have butterflies there. Butterflies are all about transformation. You know, a caterpillar goes in, it builds its cocoon, and it comes out as a butterfly. It is never going to be the same. When it goes in as a caterpillar, it's kind of ugly. It's got these little spiny, spiky things on it. it. Looks like a worm. Most people don't want to touch a worm and deal with a worm. But it comes out, it's beautiful, it's breathtaking. It's a totally new creature. That's what you're going through. You're going through this metamorphosis, this transition, this transformation, this change. You see, you've got all these sparkly little swirls, kind of like, you know, Superman. Superman goes into a telephone booth and he twirls around and he comes out as a superhero. You're being spiraled right now through transformation, through change that is going to change your entire life, but it's going to change it for the best. It is faded. This decision that you have been waiting on is the key, it's the linchpin, it's, it's the piece that's going to set everything in the puzzle into place. It is the thing that's holding things back. It is the thing that is keeping you from having your dreams come true. It is the thing that is keeping you from turning into this beautiful butterfly. It's the thing that's keeping you stuck as a little prickly caterpillar, but it's about to change. You have this, this rabbit. I don't know if you can see the rabbit that's in there. Rabbits are all about, you know, creativity, imagination, fertility, desire, procreation, luck. This change that is becoming, it is coming about because of a decision that, for most of you, it, it's a decision being made by someone else. You are waiting on their decision. You are waiting on the disposition. But that is going to be, that, that decision, that information that's coming about, that decision being made, that is the piece that's going to change your luck. That is the piece that is going to bring this transformation, that's going to bring the new beginning, that's going to bring the happiness, that's going to bring you luck. You've got this little robin down here. Robins are also, they speak about new beginnings, fresh, springtime. Springtime is when everything's alive and it's just buzzing and it's magical. You see, you've got all these like sparkle, like magical little firefly marks there and in this card and this card and even in this one. This decision, this information that you are about to receive, it's going to magically transform your life. And for many of you, it's rapidly going to transform it. And in beautiful ways, and in some of you, in ways that you, you weren't even anticipating. But what is blocking you, you have the strength card. It, this is a major arcana, it's number 11. At the bottom it says, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. So for many of you, this is about having the strength to stand firm in your convictions, to stand firm for the things that you deserve. So maybe, you know, it is a legal proceeding and they're trying to split up your assets. So for some of you, it could be what's blocking you is you're not standing up for what you deserve. You're not having your team of attorneys to go and say, uh-uh, no, 
no, she's getting half of everything. Or no, he's getting, you know, she's getting 75% of it. Or vice versa, it could be for the men. But knowing that you deserve it and standing up for that, not backing down, because you know sometimes we're very loving and, and caring because this has you know it's got the the lion and the lamb it's it's this balance between being sensitive and loving and caring but also having the strength to stand up for yourself and roar when you need to roar but be back down and be mild and loving it's a balance so many of you you are you're very sensitive you're very caring you're very uh, empathetic you're very loving you you are very considerate of others but you in this in this situation that you've been going through, you have not been caring for yourself. You've been bowing down to whatever that other person desires. You've been bowing down to their needs. You have not been standing up for yourself. You have not been saying, no, I want better. I deserve better. This doesn't work for me anymore. This is about, it can also be about forgiving yourself, forgiving others, believing in yourself. But for many of you, it is, okay, the card's number 11. Actually, most traditional tarot cards, the strength card is not number 11. So when you look at numerology, 10 is an ending, it's a completion. So for some of you, this is a cycle that is, it has gone past the point in which it was supposed to end. So for some of you, you could be, you know, on the outs with a lover. And I do get that there's like some contractual, you know, you, you may be married, but I'm getting for some of you, it's like, it's like not necessarily a marriage, but maybe you have... A business together or maybe you have investments together because maybe they're saying for a number of you you've been together for many many years off and on it, it's been a very tumultuous up and down cycle but you have investments you have assets you have property you are contractually bound to one another but they have been trying to to end this to end this cycle they're, they've been trying to break the two of you up it, it's been something that has been destined and faded because t by ending that chapter with them, you'll have a transformation and a new beginning with someone else. Where you can be like bunnies, you can get it on like bunnies, have a new beginning, have a fresh start, you transform, it's a beautiful new beginning because for many of you, this has been very dark, it's been very heavy, even though it's been a traditional thing that you have stuck next to. There has been a lot of gossip, there's been a lot of backstabbing, there has been a lot of hurtful things that have been said about you behind your back, things that have been hidden from you. So they have been trying to end this cycle for a very long time because you're an 11. The ending of the cycle is 10. You've been holding on to this person for too long and you are now at the point that God and angels are stepping in to help separate you from that, from that person, from them for some of you from a situation. But for those of you sticking with this example, you were supposed to let them go and you have not. That is what is blocking you. It was supposed to be a death. It was supposed to be an ending. So for those of you that are waiting for a decision, so you've, you, you've gone separate ways from this person, but you have not officially ended it. So you haven't officially done the divorce papers or you haven't officially you know hired the attorneys and gone through the splitting up of your assets or the you know, splitting up of your business or the, you know, selling off your half of the business or having them sell off their half to finally free yourselves of each other. You haven't done that because you're kind of hanging in there. Like, you know, again, it comes back to this tradition, like you've always been with them. Some of you, you've been with each other since college, but it's not good for you. It's not good for them. And also for, because she's talking to her grandmother, this is maternal. So for many of you, you've had a mother or grandmother tell you, you need to get away, not just walk away from them, but you have to run away from them. They are very bad for you, but you have refused to accept that. You have refused to see that. So now you have come to this point where you're not together right now, but you haven't completely dissolved, ended, terminated those ties because you're still hopeful. You're like, maybe they're gonna change their mind. I'm gonna sit here and wait for them to change their mind. So for some of you, the decision's gonna be coming in. Maybe the thing that was hidden from you is that there's someone else. Maybe for some of you, that's why they started a big argument months ago to just simply push you away so they wouldn't have to admit to you that there was someone else or they wouldn't have to admit to you that there was something secretly going on financially. But you're holding on is what's blocking you. You've got this strength. You're like, oh, you know, I've invested so much. I'm not letting this go. I'm not letting this go. It is time to end the cycle. You've surpassed the time that this was meant to end. And that's what's blocking you. And for many of you, this situation that... It, and whether it's a love situation, a work situation, money situation, it's, it's, 
it's been lingering for too long. The ending, the culmination, the completion has been lingering for too long. Those of you that are that are holding on really hard, you're waiting, that's what's blocking you. For others of you, see how she's just like totally discouraged and like disgusted the way she's looking. So for some of you, it's almost like this because you've been waiting for this decision for so long it's as though you're like thinking okay i'm never this decision is never gonna be made i am stuck in this horrible place as this caterpillar i i'm trying to go through this transformation i'm trying to change i'm trying to come out on the other end i'm really trying to this look how beautiful this is this is what's waiting for you i'm trying to come there i'm trying to get there but i just can't shake this off because some of you, you're ready for it to end. You've been ready for it to end for months. And it's almost like when you've got glue stuck to the bottom of your shoe or gum. You're like, how do I get this crap off? You're scraping your foot on the concrete. You're shaking your foot. And it just is not coming off. And it started to really discourage you. For some of you, you are losing hope. You are losing faith. And for some, that's what's blocking you. Because you have to know that this outcome that you desire that this ending because there's like two sides of it there's some of you that have not wanted to let a person's situation go and then there's others of you that have been waiting forever for it to go but those of you that have been waiting forever the where it's discouraged you that the things that you desire are about to come in and even those of you that have been holding on forever the things that you have been wanting you are going to be getting it's just not going to be with that person or that situation it's going to be in a different way because what you have that you are unaware of you have the three of spring so no matter what whether you've been wanting to hold on to it or not been wanting to hold on to it everyone's going to have to let go of it but for everyone by the letting go of it you are going to have something beautiful come in this is the three of spring I don't know if you guys can see these or not. I'm at an angle. I get glare when I try to read them. I think you guys get glare when I'm reading them. So hopefully it's an angle you can see it. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Traditional Tarot, this is the, the man. He's standing He's and he's got the three wands and he's waiting for his ship to come in. This card is what is unknown to you. This card is about, you know, you've done a lot. You've really put the time in. You've worked hard. You're waiting for your rewards. You're waiting for your ship to come in. But it's about having a little bit of patience. You're almost there. Your dreams are about to come to fruition. You're on the cusp of it. They are going to flourish. They are going to come true. You are going to receive what you desire. Just a little bit more time. Be patient. It is happening. It is going to be coming in. Because for a lot of you, since you're not sure of the outcome, you're worrying, you're fretting, this has been going on forever, you've been waiting on the decision forever, you feel like you're in limbo, you feel like everything's stuck, you, you want these beautiful things, you want a new beginning, but you're like, it is all hinging on this decision being made. But it's not a decision you are making. It is a decision that is being made externally from you. And it's, being very, it's very difficult for you to continue to sit and wait and let things run their course because it's just been going on for so long. But you're almost there because again, this is what is unknown to you. You're almost there. For many of you, it is going to be happening because this is about good things coming to you, your rewards coming to you. So for many of you, you could be getting the information about that decision. You're going to see the rewards flooding in because they're saying for many of you, it's, it's like a flood of blessings coming in because not just one thing has been hinging on this decision, a multitude of things have been waiting on this decision. Everything's been holding, it's almost like a dam. Everything's been held back, simply waiting on this decision to be made. But this decision being made, has, it's, it's taken too long, but it's about to happen. And that's what's going to transform your life. Now, as far as what's recommended, you have this seven of summer. And at the bottom, it says, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. And this, this is a cup, so this is all about emotion. Could be love. So for some of you, this is love related. You've got the rose there. But love is also, can be, you know, you, you've loved your job. You've loved your career. You've loved a business. Um, it, it's something that you are emotionally invested in. But this card is about, you know, when we make decisions, there are pros and cons to every decision we make. But for some of you, because in the instance where you're making the decision, it's about, you know, no matter what decision, it has to be made. The decision has to be made. And for those of you, it's not you making the decision. It still has come to a point where the decision must be made. It must be made. No more procrastination. Everything is hinging on this decision being made. And there may be a few of you where you do have to make a decision. Same thing, it's hinging on making a decision. To stop 
um, overthinking things, stop overanalyzing things, stop distracting ourselves, to recognize that a choice must be made. But by making a choice, we're stepping into our own personal power. We're claiming back our power. We're not allowing the other person or the, the situation to take our power because we are being responsible. We're also being responsible for the outcome of our decisions because anytime you make a decision, there's always gonna be some reaction, some response. But, but a choice needs to be made. Nothing is moving forward because a choice hasn't been made. A decision hasn't been made. Everything is hinging off of that. But again, this is, this is in the what they're recommending you do. But for most of you, it's a decision you're waiting on someone else to make. But the thing that has you stuck, so for some of you, because this has been going on for so long, you have lost your focus. So you see how he has like laser focus. He's, he's staring at the tip of his finger. He has this rainbow beam. I mean, he has a laser focus. It's time for you to focus on, on the outcome. It's time for you to focus on what it is that you desire. So for some of you, you could be getting involved in things that are because you know, again, this is cups. Some of you could be jumping into drinking, partying. Um, they're saying for some of you, you've brought in other love interests, but these activities, they're distractions. It's time to, what they're recommending you do is stop the distractions. So if you have brought in, so maybe you're waiting on someone to tell you, okay, are we gonna work this out? Or are we not gonna work this out? Are you going to sign the divorce papers or are you not? Are you going to sign the, the, the paperwork to split up this business, split up these assets? But you haven't, so for some of you, you haven't made a decision to put the pressure on that person to get the decision made and get things moving forward. Instead, you've been drinking, you've been partying, you've been dating a bunch of other people. Some of you have been promiscuous. Some of you, prom promiscuity is what actually led to this. But whatever boat you're in, it's time to stop the distractions. Stop the drinking, stop the partying, stop the other people. Focus on it, what it is, focus on the outcome that you desire. If you need to push someone to make a decision, you need to push them to make a decision. Because for many of you, it's not fair to, that you are being stuck in this, um, in this state of waiting because everything is hinging on this decision being made. And for others of you, it's, it's a decision. So for others of you, it's also focusing on what it is that you desire, what's the outcome that you desire. So for some of you, you know, you've been waiting for this to happen for so long, you're thinking, okay, this isn't gonna happen. You're starting to worry and fret. And what happens is what we think about is what we will create. So because you're so worried and fearful that this isn't going to happen, it is going to happen, but you're starting to think worst case scenarios. And, and what happens when we start thinking worst case, what we do is we create worst case scenarios. So say for example, something that's not love related. So as many of you know, I have been waiting for my retirement for a very long time. My retirement is not a typical military retirement. I am going through a medical retirement because of injuries I sustained um, when I survived an, an attack in Afghanistan, a rocket detonated by me. It's a medical retirement. So it's not like I go into the system and I put in that I'm gonna retire six months from now. No, my entire future lies in the hands of four boards consisting of multiple doctors in different areas. They are making the decision about my retirement, how much money I will receive, what my percentage is, it is all totally in their hands and it's multiple boards of people, which is why military medical retirements can take one, two plus years. It takes a very long time. They're trying to reduce the amount of time, but it takes a very long time. I got them at the very end of it, but it's taken, as you all know, a very long time because I can't take new clients until this is all done. We're in the final stages, but it's been taking a long time. So I could be blocked and be stuck in this state of fretting and thinking, oh my gosh, what if I don't get 100%? What if, what if I don't have the money to take care of myself? What if I, what if I am only given a smaller percentage? What if, what if it, the outcome's not gonna be what I anticipate? Because for some, when it comes to medical retirement, like some people might wanna stay in the military, some people might wanna get out of the military, but the entire thing, whether they're going to keep you or retire you and how much money you will be receiving, totally depends on all these boards. You have no control, it's their choice. So I could sit in a state of fretting. Oh my gosh, this isn't gonna turn out well. It's not gonna turn out, oh my gosh, they're, they're gonna make, you see there's this castle in the back. Oh my gosh, the, the decisions, I, I'm not gonna be able to take care of my home. Um, they're, not gonna pro they're not gonna provide what's fair. And I could, I could sit and stress and worry about that. I could spin myself in circles. And what would happen if I do that is I would be creating the very outcome that I don't want. But instead, I'm choosing to not let my mind wander, to not overthink, to not overfret, to not overanalyze. I just have 100% complete faith that God's gonna take care of me. 
God is going to make sure that I'm receiving what I deserve so that I can take care of myself and provide for myself. And I don't have to worry about anything else. So instead, what I'm focusing on is like, I'm keeping a clear vision of, okay, this is going to be right. This is going to work out. But I don't sit and spend my time on it. I let go, let God. And instead, what I focus my time on is, um, so for example, those of you that have made some donations, thank you for your donations. You'll be excited to know what I have done with the, the donations that you've made recently. I've actually invested in some software, it's some automatic scheduling software. Because I know when this retirement is complete, I am going to open up for new clients. So for those of you that have been waiting, as soon as my retirement is done, which is going to be very, very soon, I'm going to open up and start receiving new clients. In order to make that manageable, it's just too much work. Hours and hours and hours are spent with scheduling and rescheduling. And in, in order for me to get as many of you in as possible, I need that to all be automated. So I've done a lot of research and I have found some software that's going to work to be able to do automatic scheduling for all of you. It's going to make my life easy. It's going to make your life easy. But I've used your donations to invest in that. The next thing I'm investing in is some software. So that as I do healing sessions, I'm able to put all your information and track all that. And, and that's going to make our lives better as well. So I'm not fretting and blocking myself about what's this outcome of my retirement going to be. Instead, I know God's got that. I know it's coming in. I'm going to focus on what are my next steps? What are my next things? So I don't block that energy. Because if I sit in circles, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Law of attraction, energetically, I'm just stalling things. I'm just stalling things. And then if I go out because, oh my gosh, I can't think about this. I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so stressed. And if I go out and I drink and get drunk every night, well, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help my health. That doesn't help me prepare for the future to assist any of you. That just makes a situation that's already stressful even more stressful. Because then I can't even get up and function the next day because I have a hangover. Let go. Let God. And that's actually one of the recommendations that they have for you, ironically. And this is the God box. And at the bottom it says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. And I'm going to read this real quick. So for many of you, what you have to do, focus on what you want. Know what the outcome is. It, well, envision, envision the outcome because, you're, because that's the problem. It's got a lot of you stuck. You don't know what the outcome is going to be. You are going to be receiving the things that you desire. Some, it could be in a slightly different way, but you just need to have laser focus on what it is that you want. Give that to God and trust God's going to bring it to you. Now, let me, I'm going to read the God box. Okay. So God box. The angels want to relieve you of the burden of worry by giving you a physical method for releasing your cares to heaven. Writing down your prayer requests or worries for divine intervention is an effective way to work in partnership with God and the angels. You can write something short or lengthy and will receive the same results. What matters most is that you write from your heart and then give the paper to heaven, symbolically either by burning it, which releases it, putting it in the freezer, which stops the situation from progressing, burying it, which helps with emotional healing, or putting the paper in a God box. And I'm going to read the action steps for that. God boxes are time-honored tools for gaining peace of mind and answers to your prayers. If you don't already have a container specifically for use as a God box, now is the time to buy, make, or designate one. Choose an ornate container that evokes a sense of mystic or mag majestic. For instance, a royal purpose, purple box or one decorated with crystals may speak to you. Ask your angels to guide you to a wonderful God box and then follow their guidance to find or make the container that's right for you. Place your God box where you can easily see and have access to it. So they're recommending let go and let God. Next thing that they're recommending, you know, saying having laser focus, you have creative power. So everything's waiting on this decision that's made. Many of you are stuck in a state where you're like, oh my gosh, I have no control. I have no control. Everything's just waiting on this other person. So I'm going to sit here in despair waiting for them or her, or the, it could be multiple people make a decision if you're waiting on a judge's, you know, disposition. But whether it's a judge, whether it's a board, whether it's a, an ex, a soon to be ex, you're waiting on this decision. Many of you feel powerless, but you do have power. Don't give away your power because you are impacting this situation energetically. You could be impacting it because you, you think you have no power. 
you think that things are not going to turn out positively, again, law of attraction, what we think is what we create. If you're thinking that this is going to turn out not in your favor, so maybe you're splitting up assets with someone who's if it's going to be an ex-spouse or an ex-business partner, and you're, you are afraid that they're going to take you to the cleaner. And that's what you keep thinking over and over and over, that you're, you're, you're going to lose everything. You could be creating that. So don't do that. Know that you're going to receive what you desire because you do have the power to create. And this, this is creativity. And, and that's really what it's all about because this is, this is to remind you that you do have the power to influence the situation. You do have the power to create the things that you desire. And, and by knowing that, by letting go of your fear, by letting go of your worries, by letting go of any of the apprehension that you're having, the sadness, the, dis the depression, some of you, it's the sorrow that you're going through. Also, judgment, it, criticisms, criticisms of yourself, criticism of others. Um, also, for some of you, there's some forgiveness that needs to be done. But by letting all of that go and just knowing that things are going to turn out positively, know that you have the ability to create and you, you are going to receive the outcome that you desire things are going to turn out positively. You see how she's like rising up out of these, these waters. Water is all about emotion. And the water is kind of murky. It's also green. It's, it's green represents healing. So for you to rise up out of this murky, emotional, despair-filled water, where some of you it has been a healing that you've gone through. So those of you that are going through a divorce or breakup, you've had to do some healing of your heart. You've had to release this person. But for all of you in this situation, this has been something that has been very emotionally trying for you. Because again, it's a major transformation. But in order for you to rise up out of this murky water, to rise out of these emotions, you, you do need to know that you have the ability to influence this. You do have the power to create the outcome that you want. Yes, you have to receive this decision from this other person, but the outcome doesn't lie in their hands take back your power know that for some of you take action steps for the future kind of like me the little example that i gave not sitting here worrying instead i'm preparing for i know what my next steps are and i'm starting and i'm working on those and i'm doing those i'm not immobilized in fear which would just cause more blocking energy in order to open up the energy for these changes this transformation to happen and again divine timings at play for everyone me and all of you but at least if you're doing everything that you can so that you are not blocking the energy by staying stagnant, by having distractions, if you are not blocking the energy because you're immobilized and stuck in fear, if you are not blocking the energy because you are holding on to something that you are meant to release and let go of, you have opened up as much as you can for God to make what's going to happen when it's meant to happen. And the other thing is, if you are not blocking it because you are thinking worst case scenario, to so just transform your thoughts. That's all you need to create the outcome that you desire. And by transforming those thoughts, it's transforming them into a state of love. Because when it comes to creating things, the most powerful energy in which you can create something is love. Because love holds ultimate power. So like healing work that I or any energy healer does, it's always from a place of unconditional love. And I can tell you, it's pretty powerful to sit down and do a three hour healing session, have somebody healed of cancer have them healed of a ter terminal or a lifelong debilitating disease. To know that that's all coming from love. But for some of you, you need to embrace love. You need to embrace loving yourself. You need to embrace... Some of you, it's, it's, they're saying it's like embrace love even despite this process that you're going through. Because if you can embrace it, you'll find... If you can embrace it, if you can love it, you'll find that everything's going to transform. Relationships, yourself, everything will be transformed for the better. So for some of you, because it's been going on for so long, you're just upset, you're frustrated, you're not loving yourself, you're not loving other people. Find some joy. See how she's just kind of, ha she has her eyes like closed. Yeah, sometimes you'll listen to a good song and just, you're just kind of blissful, kind of happy, at peace. So for some of you, do something that you love. Because what it's going to do, it's going to take you out of this state of despair and worry about this decision you're waiting on. It's going to shift your energy. It is going to help you remove any blocks. So for some of you, it's blocks because you're worried. It's blocks because you fear the worst outcome. It's blocks because you're distracting yourself. But if you can focus on doing something that brings you joy, do something that you love, do something that makes you happy, it's going to take your mind off all of that. 
And then what that's going to do is going to remove those blocks that, sh that you have from your end. Now, again, it's all divine timing. But when we remove our own blocks that we're putting in, because again, law of attraction, if we can at least remove those, then when it's time, God and the angels will make it, they will make it happen. We won't cause any further delays. So do something that's fun. Do something that you love. Do something that you enjoy. Do something that's blissful for you. And, and it won't be related at all with any of this mess. But if you can do that, that will shift your energy. What they're also saying is that there's this, this dot on hers, and I'm not gonna pick it up <laughs> because I'm not gonna fix the cards again. And there's a star, it's on their third eye. They're saying what many of you need to do is you need to start listening to your intuition. So for some of you, they're trying to get you to take next steps. For some of you, they may be trying to get you to communicate with this person to, to get a decision made, to get things moving forward. Some of you, it's they're trying to show you what your next steps are. Like, okay, when this is gone, when this situation's over and these beautiful blessings come in, here's your next step to getting those things to come in. Here's your next step for this beautiful new beginning that you desire. But they're giving it to you intuitively. Listen to your intuition. Listen to that inner knowing. It's, they're trying to help you. So allow them to help you. Because they're saying for many of you, you are ignoring that inner knowing, that intuition. So let's pull, pull some clarifiers for that, that and that. Yeah, that'll be it. Okay, so for your situation. Okay. So we have choice. And this is all about a choice needs to be made. A choice must be made. Um, no matter what the choice is, good or bad, yes or no, positive, negative, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's, it's the, it will be the right choice. It just, it needs to be made. A decision must be made. And then you have the letter. This is about truth. This is about written communications. This is about information coming in that, that again is written, but it's also about communications regarding someone or a situation that is, is we have an intimate connection. And then we have the ship. This is about journey, it can be about travel, it can be distance, I'm waiting for your ship to come in. So for all of you in this situation, you are waiting for a decision to be made. So for many of you, you may be receiving written communications from a distance about this decision that has been made. It can be a legal disposition. It could be a decision by maybe that lover you're waiting on them to come back and let you know if they want to give it another try or not. They may come and say no. Uh, I didn't want to tell you earlier this year, but I've been involved with someone else and I'm, I'm getting married. Or, you know, I really didn't want to completely split things up, but, but now I do. And for others of you, it, it, it could be any legal business organization, but, but there, there is a... You are going to be receiving the information about the decision that's been made. For many of you, it is something that is coming in from a distance. but you are going to be receiving news of that. Many of you, it is going to be written because again, it is a legal decision that has been made. Okay. And these are for down here. We have the fish and fish are all about resources, money, investments. And we have the stars. This is clarity, a wish fulfillment, you know, wish upon a star. Um, something that improves things, destiny. And then we have the key. And this is, you know, discovery, solution, synchronicity, signs, fate, you know, the answer to what is troubling us. And, and this is clarifying the Ace of Spring. Remember the Ace of Spring, this is all about beautiful new beginning, taking action, being fearless. You know, that, that caterpillar turning this beautiful butterfly. And this is your foundation. So the situation is something that you have invested heavily in. It is something or someone that you are bound to and you are intertwined with them financially. So it can be decision about, you know, separating a business, you know, buying out your business partner. It could be a, a marriage, breaking up your, splitting up your assets, but it's tied to your money. It's tied to your finances. This decision, it is fated, it is destined. Those of you that, that you've known it's a long time in the coming, 
you have received a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities, but this decision, this ending, it is going to be the, the key that sets you free. You see this cage is like opened up. There's this, this rose in there. It is destined. It is fated. It is going to set you free. It is going to be the linchpin, the thing that, that starts this entire transformation of your life. It's going to be a whole new way of being. So for some of you, you've been with the same partner for your entire adulthood you're actually going to find a destined, fated partner of a lifetime. She's got the infinity symbol. So you could be finding and moving forward with the divine love. The person you're splitting with is not your divine love. They're not your twin flame. They're not your twin soul. Um, it could have been a soulmate, but you're gonna be moving forward with a soulmate, twin flame, twin soul, someone that you're destined to be with. For those of you that this is the ending of a, of a business partnership, a business agreement, um, or a work that you've done your entire life, it's going to be ending so that you can start your own business and move into a completely different career field. Maybe you've been an accountant your entire life, but you have felt drawn. You felt as though the divine has been leading you toward starting your own business in marketing because you feel that you can help people market their businesses and help them succeed. Totally different. You've never done it, but you're just feeling drawn to it. There's going to be a decision you're going to be receiving the information that's going to set you free. That's going to transform your life. And you want the transformation. So allow the transformation because for some of you, it is a little different than what you expected. Okay. So for the strength, you have a coffin. This is depression, loss, ending, a painful transition, a painful change. We have the writer, the writer, also brings in news difference though this is written communications and this is just news that you could get in you know from a distance on the phone but this is news about a new cycle the ending of an old cycle it's also freedom you know merry-go-round round it, it they go the horses go up and down they go in circles vicious cycle and then we have the man and this is you know represent it's like representing him waiting. See, he's like waiting on his lover. He's facing the past. He's holding a rose. And this is what is the challenge. So, so for some of you, you are a man and you had a relationship end and it was a romantic relationship. Could be marriage. Uh, for some of you, you were not married, but, but you did have money. You had assets, you had businesses, you had property, you, you had invested in together but but you had it end it was a painful ending for you for many of you they have tried to end it a number of times it, it has been a vicious up and down cycle you've had highs you've had lows but it it they're saying for some of you it, the relationship ends and you go back the relationship ends and you go back and it's this this never ending like cycle like this merry-go-round you're just going in circles because you, you keep waiting. So for some of you, what's blocking you is you're waiting. Maybe she's going to change her mind. Maybe I'm going to get information or news soon that, you know what? She wants to give it another try. She wants to give it another shot. But that's what's blocking you. You know how earlier they were saying some of you, what's blocking you is you have the strength. You keep holding on. You see how she's holding on. Even this creature's in the death coffin is holding on tight with both hands to the ankh and then the staff. What's blocking you is you're holding on to her and you have to let her go. You have to let that cycle end. You have to let it be the complete ending, the complete death in order to transition. Now for some of you, this is saying, you know, what's blocking you is this transition. It has taken a very long time. It has been a painful, transition and and you have been waiting for news but you have been waiting for news for so long that you you're questioning do I even have the strength to continue to wait because you've begun to think that okay my ship's not coming in I I, I just don't think this is going to happen I don't think things are going to turn out in my favor so for you it, it's shifting your perspective to know it, it is going to work out in your favor and even for those that, you know, are the guy that's waiting on her to hopefully come back and try it again, you are going to get the things that you desire. It's just not going to be with her. You want family. You want home. You, you want something that is founded on tra tradition. So for some of you, you're going to be finding out something about her that maybe she has a non-traditional lifestyle now. 
you could find out that she's into women now. Um, but you want home, you want family, you want stability. Also, you want something that is transparent, built on truth, built on stability. You are going to receive that. As far as I mean, it's going to be so for many of you, you're going to be receiving the information about the decision. And as far as when you're going to start seeing these good things coming to fruition, these good things coming in, your ship coming in for many of you, it will be the next month. So uh, the Lenormans, each card has like a timing. So if, if you ever work with the Lenormans, they each card will represent different time frames. The garden means in the next month, in the coming month. So many of you are going to start to see it in the coming month. And yes, for most of you, this is the bottom card. This is the, the overall energy of, of what is being ended. This is the tower. This isn't the traditional tower like in traditional tarot. This represents something that is a, a structure that offers us protection. It can be a corporation, it can be an institution, it can be an organization, it can be the government, it can be a marriage contract. That's a contract, a business contract, but something that gives us protection. But that is what the decision is being made about or by, which is why for many of you, it is, it is legal. So most, okay, most of you are going to be receiving the legal disposition, the ruling, the judge's ruling, the judge's decision or it could be the other person's decision about marriage contract. But the decision's about to come in. Your wait is about to be over. So you'll be able to start moving forward. So your ship can come in. These beautiful things can come in. And in order to uh, do as much as you can to help with that, again, put your stuff in a God box. Let go. Let God love yourself. Have some fun. Okay, let me get these out of the way. I'm going to pull one quick angel answer card for everyone. So go ahead and think of a question is that if there is something that has not been answered for you in this reading, something that you still have questions about, go ahead and think of your question and we're going to pull one angel answer card real quick. So it's funny. We had, did we have this last week? Choose a new direction. I really did shuffle the cards. <laughs> I really did thoroughly. Okay, so choose a new direction. Let me find that in the book real quick. We'll read it. Okay, choose a new direction. The time has come to choose a new direction in your life. The circumstances that you find yourself living in may seem unfulfilling, or perhaps your heart is full of discontent. You know that there is something more out in the world for you, and you've been procrastinating following the guidance of your angels. Make a conscious choice to be the person you are meant to be. Create an action plan for yourself that leads you in the direction of your divine life purpose. Begin taking steps immediately toward a happier future. So hopefully that helps all of you. It fills a lot of love, joy, and blessings. <laughs>